What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexi and welcome back today to Five Nights at Freddy's World. How are you doing everyone? I hope you're good. Um, so yeah, I actually previously recorded this video. Uh, I didn't upload it yet and then the new update, Update 1, happened to Five Nights at Freddy's World and I thought, you know what, let's just do this video again because it would be kind of cool to do it in the new update. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a look at two different secret endings involving going down to the fourth layer. Now throughout the game it's kind of cool because a lot of NPCs tell you never ever go down. I think Fredbear he always says never go down to the fourth layer, it's bad, it's evil, it's terrible. The secret is basically you can go down to the fourth layer but once you're down there, it ends your game, and there's two different ways that you can do it when you are down there. So today, <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to get there. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually go to Pinwheel Funhouse. Um, so let's go to Pinwheel Circus. Of course, I've just made a video here showing off this new update one, and this is kind of the first time that I'm really sort of looking at it, apart from that video. It's just so weird to get used to. Like, I'm used to the other one. I'm not criticizing it. It's it's pretty cool. You know, it's very colorful and nice, and I like the animations and stuff, but it's very different to what I'm used to. But, you know, I think it'll grow on me. I think it'll grow on me. It's cool. So let's get rid of Ball Boy here. Come on. Come up. Go away. Go away. Go away, dude. Come on. You're ruining it. There we go, fantastic. So what we need to do is we need to go all the way up to Pinwheel Circus as we usually do, and we need to progress like we would normally do to get to the secret area of um, Lily Gear Lake where the uh, pork, what was his name? It's not Pork Chop, was it? It's like a pig. <laughs> it's like a pig boss, basically. And um, see, anyway, while, oh, Tangles. Hang on, let me, let me, let me deal with these guys. Right, there we go. You know, I kind of feel there's actually been a little bit of a change to the uh, the enemies. I think they've actually got a little bit tougher. That might just be me, but it kind of feels like they've got a bit tougher anyway. So, yeah, anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to progress through the game as we would usually do. So we go down through the glitch block into the tombstone here. And then we... I'm going to grab that chest because why not? Oh! <laughs> it was a trap. It was a fiendish trap. All right, let me get rid of these guys again. There we go. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going through here. So we go through the glitched logs, and there's normally a boss right here. It's the Bubba Bear boss. Um, so what we're going to do is we've already defeated him, but we keep going through into the tent. And then once again, we don't go in any of these tents. We go through the glitched rock again. Oh, come on. All right, let's get rid of this guy quickly. There we go. Nice. My X Reaper there on point. Pretty good. Pretty good. So we go through the glitched wall, and you'll notice as soon as we're out, that horrible, like, um, pinwheel funhouse sort of weird screen thing kind of disappears, and we are down into this particular glitched rock, which is the area we need to be in. So this is exactly the same as the previous one pre-update. It looks exactly the same, which is cool, but the way we need to go is we need to go down and to the right, and then all we do is we follow it, follow it, take the first left up, and then into the top left-hand corner there is a tree. So we go to the second layer. Here it's really, really simple. We just go up a few, and then we go right through the glitch tree here, the secret one into this now we're in the third layer and this is where we actually go into the fourth one so if we follow the road right which is the normal way that we usually go uh you go all the way up and then left i think and it actually takes you back to the main area however with this one instead of going up we actually go down Ooh, look at this secret blocks once again there we go and if we follow this all the way down to the left we will actually get to the fourth layer so are you ready three two one and boop <laughs> Were you expecting that? If you haven't seen this already, this is really weird, but this is the fourth layer, and this is the area that it never ever tells you to go. So there are two secret endings within this one map, and the thing is, you can't actually get back to the normal world from here at all. There is no way of getting back. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do the first one here, which is to talk to this NPC, which I believe is called Mr. Consequences. Hang on, let me talk to you. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry to say that you have gone too deep into the code. There is no way back out. My name is Old Man Consequences. Come, have a seat, and let's fish for a while. You have nowhere else to go. The end. And that is literally the end. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's slightly anticlimactical, I don't know, but if you have accidentally gotten your way down here, there is no way to exit this. It just says the end, and that is it. So, hmm. 
ending number one. Okay, so ending number one does actually give you a trophy which you can see on your loading screen here. So you can see that currently we've done three of the endings. We've done the sentry. I always say sentry. Why? Security. We've done the security owl ending. We have done the chipper's revenge ending. And this weird looking thing here is the fourth layer glitch ending. So as I mentioned, there is actually a second ending in that area. However, it doesn't give you a trophy. At least I don't think it gives you a trophy. So let's go and do that. All we need to do now is we need to go back to the exact area that we were once in and we do something different. So let me show you. All right, so we're back here in the third layer and we are going exactly the same direction that we went for the first one. So it's going to take us the same place. You don't have to do anything different whatsoever. And once we are down back in the fourth layer, like so, we have to go to this lake. Now, it's kind of interesting because if you just kind of press it normally, you can't actually get into the lake. However, what you need to do is you need to stand to the top and then you need to spam your A and your D key. So you need to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then very, very slowly, you will actually work your way into the pond i know this is so so weird um and then we keep working our way in we keep working no, we our way can't. in and boop yep this happens so yeah <laughs> <laughs> you kind of see like your little character and it goes up and down on the screen. The weird thing is this actually happens for about over two minutes. So I'm going to jump cut here right now because it's going to take forever. But after this happens for two minutes. Hey, there we go. So then this shows up now. This is one of two things. This is either like a dude with wings or this is a dude in the cinema having a cuddle with two sea lions or something. Um... <laughs> I don't really know what it is. Like, I'm not that clued up on my Five Nights at Freddy's lore, but if anyone knows what this is, I would love to know. Like, I'm genuinely curious, because to me, it looks like a dude having a cuddle in a cinema. Um, but yeah, they could be wings as well. Um, and yeah, there's like this weird blue dot here in the bottom sort of left-ish corner. So that's kind of strange. But apart from this, nothing else happens. And these are, as I kind of mentioned, two secret endings within... Um, the fourth layer. So kind of weird. I don't think you actually get a trophy for this one, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, so this is the fourth... No, wait, what is this? Yeah, this is the third and fourth ending that we've shown on the channel. And then both of those are accessible from the fourth layer. The weird thing is now I can't actually exit this place. Um, I don't even think escape works. <laughs> escape doesn't work. So I have to actually tab out the windows and actually close it like that. So really, really weird. But yeah, so this is two extra endings to Five Nights at Freddy's World. So I do hope you enjoyed this. If you would like to see more endings, then please let me know by poking me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Five Nights at Freddy's World done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Run to you.